In March 2020, my parents decided to pack up our English cottage they had been renovating for the last seven years and take their lives to a new country. And this is what they decided to buy. This gorgeous chateau has been empty for the last 20 years and it is just dying to be saved. There are some incredible outbuildings in this property and they all need a lot of work, but my parents are really good at DIY and they've been renovating houses basically all their life, so this is a challenge that they're definitely up to. And we cannot wait to share the journey with you. So welcome to Chateau de la Ferte. Welcome back to this week's episode of Chateau de la Ferte. I'd just like to say thank you so much for everyone who wished me to get better soon. Unfortunately, I'm still not feeling my best. I did get fresh as flu when I came back to university, but I'm hoping that I am on the end of it now and hopefully soon I'll start feeling normal again. We realised that even though we've shown you a tour of the inside on Michael's channel, which I will link in the description, we haven't actually shown you the outbuilding. So that's what we decided to do in this video. Right, so let's do the outbuildings. This is the first one you'll see when you look out the chateau. Um, it's the coach house. And the only thing, the first thing we got over here is we bought, uh, we've got water supply over from the chateau over to here and electrics I've bought over as well now. Um, I had to replace the main doors on the front. They were completely rotten away and I'll open that up later and in there at least we got a, a decent sized garage for storing things. Um, with the two doors either side, one of them takes you to upstairs, the others are just, just the rooms downstairs and eventually, oh and another thing Carol replaced, had to or replace, there was no windows upstairs so Carol got some uh, circular windows made and they're all siliconed in. So it's now should be watertight within reason up top floor. The roof was replaced before we bought it. It's a brand new roof. And also you can see the dove house up the top, which is was done and replaced at the same time as when the roof was done. So this building is my favorite. Um, it's just waiting to be converted into a gite, which unfortunately is not a priority at the moment. Anyhow, I'll show you inside. Right, so the two doors on the right hand side, one's just a, um, a room just for us to put all our tools, etc. in. Then we have quite a nice size room in here, which, sorry, but it's just full of junk. I had to find somewhere to put a lot of the stuff. Um, And then we come into, uh, I'm sure some of these, now originally you can see here, there was, there was a doorway into the main, into the middle where the main garage is. Uh, sometimes being bricked over, but might reinstate that. Again, worry about that at a later date. Right, okay, I'm having to use this as a bit more of a junk. Then through as we come out, this then takes us into the courtyard, which I'll show later on. Right, so the left-hand side doors. This one at the moment's just become my windserving. That's my uh, second love. <clears throat> which I keep in this room, which is where the cattle or the statue before we bought it, the uh, old owner was keeping the sheep. And this then, I'm assuming as you come round, is the old saddle room. Can't open the door, it's just full of hay at the moment, which we're slowly clearing out. But all of the all of the timber work in here, apart from the actual floor boards, all the joists are in great condition. So I'm actually looking forward to uh, eventually getting my hands on this. And what I'll do now is I'll go through the other door, which takes us upstairs. And all 
this is in good condition as well. Into the top of the coach house. Right. So this floor spans the whole of the coach house, but as you can see, the boards themselves are not particularly the best. Hence why you've got me talking and not Carol, because she won't come anywhere near this. It'll stand on any of this. Again, pointing on the brickwork's all good. Floor joys, sorry, the roof, um, beams, etc. Very good condition, really are. Um, they've had a Velux window put in, so it's got good light in here. As I said, it's, it really is crying out to be converted. Now this here is the uh, floor, parquet floor and I took out of what we're calling the snug room, which has become our temporary kitchen. Which I, I, I can sort through and I'm hoping to use it, even maybe in this building, um, when I find out which stuff is rotten and isn't. Uh, windows, see let plenty of light in, that Carol did. So we're coming through now, we're coming into the middle of the coach house upstairs where we got the Dove House. <clears throat> and again, the floor needs to replace it some time. Gonna have to put a window in there, but for the moment I've temporary put in a Perspex panel just to keep it watertight. Um, you may have seen the slits above the new garage doors I put in. That's where we are now. And if I come over, there's the view. Oh, hello Val. <laughs> You're on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and That's you get nice, all right. <laughs> the view of the, the chateau. And good old Alf working hard, as always. You can believe it, 84 years old. He works harder than most people I know, half his age. Right, now we're coming through to the last part. Uh, this floor is, well, you can see by the light coming through, is very bad. So if suddenly the uh, phone drops, you know why. Um, could do the Velux window maybe at some time in here. But I'll work my way over to the, hopefully, standing on joists. But it is a fair size, and I, I think when we've got round to making this, some bedrooms up here, living room, kitchen, it'll be a really nice place actually to live. And the view, that opens up a large window, which I won't do now. But again, you can see all the pointing of the stonework. Excellent condition. The original door over there where the hay bales were probably thrown in. Right, let's see if I can negotiate the rotten floor. Let's say something from Mission Impossible. And then back we go again. So the other side of here is the courtyard. Again, you have great views into the secret garden, etc. <clears throat> right, now the the main garage, uh, which is put the cobbles up to, and then the original flag store, flagstone flooring. Um, forgot to mention all the other floors in the coach house have still got the uh, original cob cobbles. Which is really nice so when we clean it all up. Um, but this is just, again, like all garages are used, the storage. <laughs> Carol's roll top bath, which uh, I do need to get put into the master bathroom when I get around to sorting out. That's probably second on my list now. So hopefully next month we can show you some progress work in there. Um, window out to the courtyard. Which temporary, I've just blocked as it's broken. 
But yeah, it's a fair sized room. Um, do not understand why I've got a sofa in here. Try to think about that, but perhaps okay, I was thinking if our son comes over. Into another room where I'm guessing, again, they kept the uh, saddles or etc. for the uh, horses. All the panel work's still there. Oh, not a lot of it missing though. But it's, again, become another junk room. I'm not sure if that's a doorway or not. It looks like a cupboard, but possibly could have been a doorway because, as I mentioned before, if I scroll around, there was a doorway on the other side. So they might have had a, a hallway right the way through the whole coach house downstairs. You can see below that lintel, there would have been a door there. But yeah, good, good room. Um, roof reasonably good condition i mean it will suffice for the moment we install the, the car in here in the winter so that's the coach house done and i'll move out to the courtyard and show you the other buildings so from the side of the coach house we come down the, uh, the right hand side which we can get the vehicles around um we come to this building which is the actual farmhouse so we can either go up into the orchard area which Carol's working on putting down the the beds vegetables etc this unfortunate part is collapsed and we started digging away and that's at the very end is where Alf was digging away all the brambles etc in the corner <coughs> and then I'll carry on round so first thing is the back of the coach house now the main garage I just recently just showed you originally would have been open all the way through as you can see by the lintel and the brickwork here so at a later date they filled that but obviously the coaches would have come right through there and back out the doors that I rebuilt um, yeah occasionally it gets hot you need a dip cool down hence the swimming pool again valves down there on our hands and knees digging away <clears throat> that's the wall and entranceway to the secret garden which i'll show later so again you can see all new roof very pleased whoever did the uh roof line it's done an excellent job so as we were saying the farmhouse so the farmhouse <clears throat> this um not quite sure Some other people might be able to tell me what they maybe had this for again the flagstone so the floor is really good um these sort of window compartments which look actually into the main part of the house i'll go in a second again joyce everything i've seen apart from the floorboards great condition so the doorway into the farmhouse. Bit of a mess, we've only been in here a couple of times. Lovely fireplace. Chimney breast is in good condition. I've checked the up uh, above and we probably actually could at some time get that going. Not that we're gonna stay in here. Um, I'll pan round. I haven't looked at the flooring in here at the moment, uh, but if you go to the entranceway, you can see the cobbles. So I'm hoping there will be cobbles all the way through when we've cleaned this up. And then this is to the back of the room I've just literally just shown you. Right, so again, doesn't look too bad. A long, long, long way away before we start working on this room. And there is an entrance way at the bottom, which I'll walk us round to, where we can actually go upstairs. If I come round to the uh, entrance way. Voila, the stairs, upstairs. Not 
not sure why that's been put across. Maybe stop people walking in. And there, had a V-Lux window put in at some time. And I can hear a cat up here somewhere. So I'll have to investigate that. I, that probably means one of the feral cats that are around has maybe got kittens up here. Uh, I will investigate and let you know. Right. Right, so we're back in the farmhouse only because last time I come up here, I could hear some kittens. So we'll just have a quick look and see if we can see where they are. So Val's come up with me. I could hear them, but I haven't seen them. But I think, careful of this bit here. Yeah. Don't, that they might be, go down to your left down there. Can you see any? Oh yes. Oh, they are there. Oh my God, there's about five. So there they are. So Six. We, Oh my oh. god, one, two, three, four, five. Can you see them? Yeah, yeah. So we have, it's just quite common over here. The feral cats are always doing this and then giving birth. Um, but they look they look nice and cosy and warm. We won't disturb them. The mother's probably not far away, so um, I don't really want to put the mother off. We accidentally came across them before and their mother had to come and move them all. So, but oh. there they are. Cute little things, aren't they? Yeah, leave them alone. They're nice and warm, they're on high. How many did you say there? I think there? there might be even seven. Really? There's definitely six. One, two, three, four, five. I think there's possibly seven. Right. There we go. Right. So back over at the coach house. Uh, Carol's clearing out one of the rooms um, so we can make ourselves like a, a place to keep all the wood ready for the winter. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Busy organizer, so what are you doing? Well, as you can see, we've already got this pile of wood. This is all the floorboards from the kitchen that have been cut up, ready for the fires in the winter. But now we've got all the dining room wood, wood to get rid of and I need to make more space in here. So as you can see on the floor, there's all this muck and old straw from where they kept the cattle. So we're gonna clear all this out and use it as the base for the, the beds in the orchard, which is gonna take some time. And it's quite exhausting, this is why I look like this. <laughs> so to show you the wood, this isn't parquet flooring, this is just the flooring that sits beneath the parquet, so don't think we're cutting up all the nice parquet flooring. Uh, this is just old timber that's actually very rotten uh, so we cut the best bits out to use uh, and then the other the rotten wood etc has then been uh, and this box in the corner is full of all the um the timber the wattle and daub from the ceilings so we've kept all the little bits there it's perfect lighting wood all right crack on then we'll speak later I still have so much footage to show you from this week, but I think this video is long enough there. So I'm going to leave it there and we'll probably do a midweek video just like we did last week. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more of the chateau. We obviously still have more to show you, so if you'd like to see that, make sure you give this video a like and also subscribe for more content and we will hopefully see you next week.